Hey guys and welcome to the True Brits back today and uh, we're going to be looking at the Samsung Galaxy Player once more but uh, kind of in a different light I know it's been a while since I've whipped a video out so I thought it was about time uh, but we're going to be talking about themes and how to basically make your device look a little bit better more classier more modernized um, so it's kind of a beginner kind of thing if you're you know you've just got your device and you're bored of it already or whatever um, this is uh, a way of getting uh, new themes and new uh, features for it. So this is basically Go Launcher. Now I know a lot of people know about this already, and uh, there's quite a few themes out there. And as you can see, this is the theme I have for it. So I'm going to show you that right now. Now, the theme that I bought, and this thing cost me about I think 1.99. You know, hardly anything. Um, but it's basically called, as you can see, at the, right in the middle, AI Blue. Um, and the reason I got it because I wanted something, you know, I'm a dude, I'm a bloke. I want something a little bit, you know, dark theme. I like a dark theme. I like blues, I like blacks. Um, so I wanted something kind of like that. Now, as you can see, it's all dark, kind of, you know, and the icons themselves have this metallic y look to them, which I like. And as you can see, it's got it all around. The background has got these shelves. Um, which looks kind of cool. It's got, you know, lights at the top and it, you know, just my kind of theme. Um, and that obviously looks the same throughout the whole of the application and the theme. So what else does it do? Well, when you download this, if you choose to download it, uh, you're going to be asked to uh, basically download extra widgets if you want. So as you can see right here, we have got the weather at the top. Now this will tell you the temperature, what's happening, is it cloudy, rainy, and obviously the time. Uh, but what's nice about it is if you click on it, you're going to get this kind of dynamic background you can see it's raining right now which kind of sucks uh, but it's still pretty warm um, and then it will tell you you know humidity UV index you know all stuff that really you don't need to know but it's nice to know um, if you can see from the top left 24 basically will give you the 24 hour weather um, the next one will tell you what's happening in the next five days so tomorrow's gonna be 93 then 90 and be 97 on the uh, like on Thursday, that's going to be warm. Uh, and then at the top right, once more, edit city, you can change what you want, custom themes, settings, feedback. Uh, so, you know, a good choice there. Underneath that, you can see this orange bar which has just popped up. Um, basically, it's telling you how much RAM and memory you've got on the device. Uh, so, if you hit this little brush on the right, it's going to clean it up. And at the bottom, uh, it said 47 megs of memory recycled. Um, so that's just going to make your device run quicker and it's just an easy way to get rid of stuff that you've, you know, you've been running an application for a while and you forgot to shut it off, just hit that button and it will clear it off. Uh, underneath that is the battery which is always nice to know. Um, obviously at the top you can see, is, I don't know if you can see it, but it says uh, I think there's 69% left. So, you know, it's there as well but it's also on the home screen as well. Uh, it's got 23 hours left and uh, I'm running Wi-Fi and some other crap but you can see that I've taken off um, dialer you know and data receive shite because I don't need it because this isn't a phone uh, but if you click there you can change it to different presets so you know if you're on the airplane and you don't have Wi-Fi change it and you know save yourself like 20 or 30 hours um, if you click this little button here you can see it tells you how long's left, you've got my mode, you can optimize that to save more, it tells you the temperature, the voltage, um, and all sorts of stuff that you have consumptions here, smart, I mean there's a bunch of shit in this thing, it's just nice to have. Um, and at the bottom you can see there's a, a five dock, which is right here, the standard one only has four, but this one you can enable up to five. Uh, this one you can't change, uh, but what I do like about it is you can add extra ones, if I swipe across, you can see I've added four right there. Now these will obviously stay with me as I scroll along, uh, but I can change them on the fly as well. And I can also add a second one. So if you want to add up, to, you can add up to ten icons on the home screen, basically. So you know, them ten icons will always be with you when you're scrolling through the pages. Uh, if you want to add ones, you can. So you've got gallery right here. So we hold that down, push that in the middle. Bam! We've got five icons, and once again we can swipe those across. Uh, if I want to put that in a group, say with YouTube, just put it on YouTube and bam. As you can see, you've got the uh, 
a folder right there and click that brings up whatever's in it if you want to remove it easy hold gallery push it out and then put it back where you want it so really easy very intuitive and nicely done and it's almost like an iPod which is nice as well you know who doesn't like an iPod um, what else well we've got settings obviously if you click the uh, the bottom left oh, just the wrong button the bottom left here will bring up a variety of different things so you can add a screen you can uh, change the wallpaper the themes you can go to the go store you can edit if you click edit real quick uh, obviously right here you get up to I think was it seven screens I believe um, and you can change it so if you want the home screen now to move to here not a problem that's done like that if you want to move it back hold it drag it and that's your home screen uh, very easy to do um, what else we have preferences now here you can do quite a lot of stuff uh, you've got visual settings uh, so you can change those backgrounds icons fonts uh, you've got screen settings you can change those as well I mean I'm not going to go through all these guys because this was you know it's irrelevant information that you can just kind of check out yourself but there's a shitload of stuff right here doc row if I change that to three and then hit home now you will see we've got one two and there's the three so you know endless amounts of customization which is always nice uh, themes obviously you can change those you know a whole bunch of them for you guys to check out um, and then settings obviously that's just your basic settings that you have already been through and I've shown you on my other videos uh, so then they're there as well um, we've also got effects this kind of cool you can change the effects um, of what happens so if I click bounce it will show you what happens if I click um, this thing it moves as a cube uh, if we want wave you can see it makes it a wave uh, this thing makes it a circle so all this cool stuff you can do this one makes it into a ball you know and just just fun stuff to piss around with basically um, I just keep it basic uh, but there it is um, if you want to go to the applications obviously you hit the middle button and that will bring them up and you can also do you know more stuff in here as well you've got all you've got recent applications you've been on uh, you've got ones that are running at the moment uh, and at the bottom you can see there right now memory it's running 223 out of 341 um, if you click on the bottom left it brings up another box you can change the sorting order alphabetical you can change the latest installed or earliest installed uh, what else we got? We've got a new folder, hide app. You got the app manager. If you want to ch check that out, basically we show you your apps uh, updates that need to be updated. I need to update these and uh, featured ones as well. So you know this is a really really good theme. Uh, it's called Go Launcher. Unfortunately, Go Locker doesn't work. And what that will do is uh, when you lock the device and then put it back on, it will. Um, it will change it up and mix it up and make it a little bit more interesting unfortunately it doesn't work with this device the, the galaxy player I'm not sure why maybe in the future it will but um, but uh, you know go launch is really cool check it out uh, it's free to download uh, obviously but if you want a really cool app you're probably not app theme uh, you're probably better off buying one but uh, that's about it guys hope you enjoyed it do check it out called go launcher it's available in the play store and uh, you know if you guys enjoy this video please like it thumbs it up does help me a lot and uh, I'll be having more videos in the uh, in the future so uh, take care guys and I'll see you next time